Uh, Jimmy, you had a problem with the cops oh, or something? Such a minor thing. Just really bugged me. Um, two two days. First of all, we had the Gay Pride Week. So Saturday week? night. At, so yeah, it was like a whole week. A course, whole week in, in Manhattan. Boy, I wasn't paying attention to that. So, so well, this was not it. Well, yeah, I, I didn't mean, had a program and everything. I know. I didn't know it was a week of uh, activities. <laughs> week of fun. Oh. Well, Saturday, when I'm oh. driving to the village to try to do my sets, uh, they're oh. blocking off. The, these weren't the cops. These were uh, these scumbag uh, traffic people who are not. All oh, right, they're not mm. real cops. They dress them like cops just so you don't spit on them when you drive by. Yeah. But I'm like go, going down Greenwich, and I want to cut over to McDougal, and I see the guy. I go, look, man, I, I, I know no one can come through here. I'm like, look, I'm a comedian. I'm working at the Comedy Cellar. I've had this happen a couple of times over the years where they won't let you in, but they know you're an employee. You're going down there to yeah, work. They just don't want through traffic going through. Real cops all. always let you through. Yeah, eh, come on. This, tr what, what do they call them? The people who, what are they called, Kenny? The, the traffic guards. Exactly, the traffic. These, these... Faggity crossing guards. Yeah, which is pretty much what they are. The crossing crossing guards, guards that have the power to write tickets. Wouldn't let me in. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm working down here. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. So I go up one more and I see a guy and I ask him to. And he's another he's another non-cop. Yeah, uncop. And he's like, nope, can't let you. And I'm like, dude, I'm not BSing you, man. I'm working down here. I'm an employee. I'm not here to hang out. I have a garage I park in. Right here, to, you know. Yeah. Rob, can't let you, can't let you. And I just, I go, you're not a real cop, are you? You're not a real cop. And he goes, uh, yes, I am. I'm a police officer. I'm an officer with the traffic division. Oh, shut up. You're not a cop, stupid. So I finally uh, park on 6th Avenue. And as I'm walking by this guy again, I, I've never wanted to attack a guy in a uniform before. But I mumble, you're not a real cop, she sucker. And I mumble it, and I start turning around and looking at him, and he's staring at me. And I realize, here's the decision you have to make right now. <laughs> You're not a good fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He probably is. He probably can. He probably knows that yeah. much. You'll Feet never you win this. There's nothing you can do here. So I walked for half a block, and I kept turning around, and I know he wanted me to come back and say something to him. Uh, but then again, he might have thought I was going to attack him. I really, really, I know I avoided jail by continually walking. I know I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I hate them. By the way, if that's what you do for a living, if you're one of those little ticket writers, you're not good enough to be a cop. You're never going to be a cop. That's why you try to exercise your power so much. Bap. Now, on to mm -hmm. last night as I'm driving home. 66th Street. I don't know what precinct this is. There's an ambulance stopped off to the side. So I'm driving with my friend, and there's a car stopped in the middle of the street. A car's driving. He sees the ambulance. There's two cops there. He stops in the middle of the street and starts rubbernecking this ambulance thing. Oh, boy. He stopped, and he's looking to the left. So I give a little beep, and I mean, I saw the cops there. I didn't blare on the horn. It was this beep. It was, hey, 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 hey. Like, come on, let's yeah. go. No stopping to look. So the guy, the guy, uh, the guy drives away, and, and stupid, whatever precinct that is, cop, well, I see him strutting up, and I'm like, ugh. Here it comes. Here comes a problem. So I roll down the window, and he goes, uh, you know, you beeped at that guy. Uh, he was just slowing down to make sure nobody was jumping out of the ambulance. Oh, he was, was yeah. he? Is that what he was doing? You horse's ass. Of course, I didn't say that. I said, uh, no. I said, no, nah, I know, buddy. I just hooed a little bit. He goes, oh, no, no, no. It's officer, not buddy. Is it? <laughs> It's officer, not buddy. Really? How's douche? Is that acceptable? How about that? Well, you should have addressed him by his proper title. That's a courtesy you extend. It's not an official title that is you're legally bound to to address anybody. And dude, it was. Such you go into a court. Do you call the judge? Hey, pal. Hey, pally. No, there's a difference because you're you're already you don't you know no. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was such a casual thing. He, I, I was being very polite, and he knew I was being polite. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going. I wasn't like this. Hey, buddy. Buddy. It right. Was nothing like that. It was. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I just, you know, the guy was ahead. Of, I just. I was Could you give me the demo of this uh, cop? Uh, it looked like a white guy. Um, How old? In his twenties. He was probably a one demo. Either him or his partner. Must be familiar with the show. 66th Street last night, like around 11.30, there was an ambulance call on 66th and around there on Broadway. So if you know who this cop was, it's Officer, not Buddy. 
You didn't look at his name tag. Eh? No, I didn't want to. For what? I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, they, just, you can, no, then you could just kind of make fun of him for whatever ethnic background he is when you drive away. It makes you feel better. I would, then I, but then I knew what I was going to do. He could obviously give me a ticket for beeping the horn. I didn't mean to believe you. No, I mean, once yeah. you're, you're oh, yeah, driven yeah, no, away, no, no, no. then you can call them whatever you want. But I was embarrassed for the him. The comfort of your own home. It's like, well, dude, like you knew the tone I was coming at you with. You're not stupid. Yeah. You knew it. And uh, just to throw that out there was really. Well, we, uh, we, really maybe we, there was some. Maybe he saw something, a little injured child, perhaps, and it got him a little, you know. No, maybe he just a little thought, on edge. He yeah. saw me beeping. I was on the Upper West Side. He thought I was probably one of these Upper West Side snots. I just want to say the, what I'm trying to get to here. I, I love the NYPD. Say, yeah. well, as far as the NYPD I goes, I have never had a problem with them. All, they support this program. We support them All I know wholeheartedly. is they protect us every single day. Every Absolutely. day. this studio, they go to the other studio. I love the NYPD. They don't make enough Especially money. Especially Mike Cole in the back of the uh, studio. And perhaps, hi, pal, perhaps one of the reasons is they don't make enough money. Uh, they're right. always being denied the raises that are, they so duly deserve in this city, uh, having to uh, uh, wrangle animals on a daily basis. These officers of the law that put their lives on the line for us on a daily basis, I salute you. I respect you. I address you as officer, regardless of the situation, friendly, unfriendly, um, if they know me, if they don't know me, they will receive the same respect because I respect the uniform and the work that went into getting that uniform, not so much the man behind it as it is the institution, the people keeping us safe in this city. Oh, a little inconvenience that Jimmy couldn't get past the ambulance a second or two earlier. An old Benny Hornbeeper had to just go and upset everybody. Now, when an officer comes over and does his job because you're not supposed to beep in this city, all of a sudden, he's the bad guy. Well, Jimmy, shame on you. Shame on you. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. It's radio guy, not Jimmy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You douche. All right, hold on. Let's say hi to Tom. Tom, what's going on? Go Kenny, on. Kenny, oh. very anxious to make his... Relax, Kenny. We'll get to you in a second. I'm sorry, Kenny. Yeah. I didn't to cut you Tom, off. Tom, what's up? Well, like I said, uh, I told you, Greener, I'm a police officer. Uh, yes, officer? I'm a police officer in the county where Big Shot lives, in that, on the North Shore. And... Uh, Regardless of what type of situation you, you come into with a police officer, you need to be respectful. And buddy, regardless of how you're, how nice you are, is not respectful. Oh, stop it! It is so. I know how to. I, I have. I've never in my life had problems with the cops. And I support them completely on this show. I always do. And and if you and buddy is not respectful, yes, it is. He didn't come up and go, "Excuse me, sir." It was casual. He walked over. You made a beep and a horn. I'm sorry, buddy. I just was. You know, that's the. I'm sorry. I'm a 37 year old man. It wasn't a confrontation between me and this guy. No, I was admitting that he was right. I was when it, whenever you come in contact with a police officer, whether it's casual or not, you know you need, you need to be respectful. I mean, that's how I was growing up before I even became a police officer. And not just I've corrected people by calling me buddy. I don't appreciate being called buddy. Yeah, really. Well, dude, I understand that, but that to me is a complete show of arrogance because he knew again. If I was being a smart ass, going, hey, sorry, buddy. Then I understand that point because he's going, well, wait a minute, don't get out of line. But he knew the tone. And don't say the tone doesn't matter. It does matter. It absolutely matters. Because if I'm being a snot and still calling him officer, well, then does that make my being respectful just because I use the word officer? He knew the, dude, I'm, he knew the tone I was coming in with. You know, you're a civilian and you don't understand. But, I, you know, I understand maybe your point of view, but being on the other side when you have people speak to you, I mean, granted, when we work in Nassau County, where, where Big Shot lives on the Gold Coast over there. Hey, uh, Big Shot, I'm the guy that backs you guys up. And so do I, All the officer. time. And so do I. All the Except time, that sir. that one pompous ass. And, sir. Where, where Big Shot lives, uh, we take care of our residents very well. Thank and, you, sir. You know, All right. Thank you, thank you, sir. thank you, Tom. We, we, we got your point. Let's go to Gasper from the NYPD. Gasper, make it fast, please. Hey, how you doing, uh, guys? Just wanted to let you know. I think what uh, Jimmy ran into here was uh, our rookies just got out of the academy, 
So uh, he probably ran into one of these guys. It's his first day out, and he's going to save the world. So. Oh, maybe he was uh, happy to be there, and uh, uh, you never know. Well, but I mean, I've talked to enough cops to know. I've called them buddy before. It's like they understand exactly what yeah. the situation is and the tone. That's why when I ask to, to drive through once in a while, if, if there's a cop guardian, he'll let you because they, they're comfortable making that decision. Like, yeah, go ahead, cut through. I know you're working down here. Right, we're not going to break your yeah. problem. Wow, there's some audio of uh, the police officer oh. uh, last night. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Well, I have to agree with that officer then. <laughs> no, that officer is wrong. Speaking of the new class, Kenny with his announcement. Ken? Yes, and Anthony forgot to say how professional the NYPD is. Of course. Yeah. Professional, but courteous, and while we're uh, respectful. On the subject, we all love the NYPD. We want to give a big shout out to the academy class that's graduating this morning, 10 a.m. at Madison Square Garden, especially Company 06 05. Congratulations to everybody. Best of luck and Godspeed. Salute. And remember. And remember, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, please keep that in mind. Everyone, every troublemaker has a video camera. <laughs> and remember, you, you young cops out there, there's cameras everywhere. Don't think Grandpa's old cute stories can hold up these days <laughs> right. about tuning some guy up in the back of the car and dropping him off in a bad neighborhood. Take him behind a building, will you? This guy, was a, <laughs> he was a tool. And I knew from the moment he walked up, he was a tool. Yeah. He was a tool. Cool. Yes. Don't let one, one bad while. apple spoil the whole Dude, bunch. I'm not calling for anarchy. I'm just calling out this one tool. It's officer, not buddy. Is it stupid? Look, It'd now we got cops calling like crazy. Buddy. We got cops calling like crazy. Well, buddy is, hold on. Buddy is disrespectful, and then others saying it, it's fine. So let's just, let's just leave it alone at that, okay? Lighten up. That's right. One of our cop friends yelling from Anyone the Anyone that of the says room. it's disrespectful, in, a, in the tone that I said it in, and in, the, and in the moment that he came up, it was such a harmless thing. It's not disrespectful. Uh, a little more audio from uh, the officer. Son, all I've ever asked of my Marines is for them to obey my orders as they would the word of God. <laughs> the word of God. And then when he called him buddy. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> the word of God. It's, uh, it's officer, not buddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, can let's... I can I offer you that, sir? Hey, eh, let me let me beg forgiveness. <laughs> Did he ask you if you were going to the Kit Kat Club? Yeah, Kit Kat Club. <laughs> Couple of beautiful Spit girls. Come out.